Hi everyone, and welcome to this chapter of the Free Full Stack course. In this chapter, we're going to install Flutter on Ubuntu. Now, if you have another Linux distribution, there will be some instructions provided also for those, but we can't cover all uh, Linux distributions in this video. And uh, this video, as I mentioned, is part of the Free Full Stack course. And you can find a link to the entire playlist for this course at the bottom of the screen. It is the first link in the description section of this video. However, you might also end up on this video just by searching randomly on YouTube or Google, for instance. And you're more than welcome to stay on this video if all you want to do is just to install Flutter on Ubuntu, for instance. But I also recommend that you follow along with the course chronologically if that's what you want to do to learn about full stack development with Flutter and Django and Rust. So let's go ahead and do some screen reshuffling in here. I'm going to change the screen layout a little bit. So let's go in here. As you can see, um, there are some instructions provided on Flutter's website as well uh, about installing Flutter on various Linux distributions. So um, you can see in here, for instance, if, you're, if you have SnapD en enabled, and I actually suggest that you do that for your Ubuntu distribution, and the scope of installing SnapD on uh, Ubuntu is outside uh, this course and outside this chapter, really. So uh, I suggest that you go ahead and learn about installing SnapD on your Ubuntu. And it should be a simple Google search. Just type install Snap Ubuntu, and you should be able to find uh, a way to do that for yourself. After you have SnapD uh, enabled on your Ubuntu distribution, all you really have to do in order to install Actually, I can see, sorry about that. I can see in here that there is a section dedicated for installing SnapD also on your Ubuntu distribution. So you could go ahead and do that before continuing with the installation of Flutter on your Ubuntu distribution. So after you've done that, all you have to do is just to copy this command. And we're then going to go into a terminal and just paste this command in here. OK, going to type my password in here. OK, and I can see that Flutter is already installed for me. But if you haven't done that before, then this process could take anything between a few seconds to a few minutes. After you have you have installed Flutter using this command, which is mentioned right here, sudo snap install Flutter and then classic, you should be able to get the path to your Flutter installation by, by saying Flutter SDK path. So let's say Flutter SDK path. Okay. And I can see for me, it's under my user, it's in my home directory, and then snap Flutter common Flutter. Okay. And also, if you have another distribution of Linux, then you can follow the instructions that are provided in the URL at the bottom of the screen, which is in, uh, I believe we have it, let's see, in here. Yes, installing Flutter manually, for instance. So because Flutter really, all it is, is just a GitHub repository. So uh, it's not much more to it. It's just a GitHub repository with a lot of commands and binaries and source files in there. So. Uh, the installation of Flutter is not rocket science, really, on neither of the platforms, nor uh, neither on macOS, nor on Linux or Windows. So, but SnapD, of course, makes it a lot easier on Ubuntu to install Flutter. As you said, it's just one command, really. Okay. So, after you've done that, after you've installed Flutter with SnapD, then what we need to do is just to run Flutter Doctor. Now, Flutter Doctor is a command. Uh, which is a subcommand of Flutter binary itself. And Flutter Doctor is a very useful command because it finds problems, possible problems with the Flutter installation itself, and, and also will provide you with some suggestions on how to fix those problems. So let's say that uh, if you look at Flutter as a whole, uh, you, could, you could say that you could um, develop web applications, uh, iOS, Android applications. You could also develop uh, desktop applications with Flutter. Now, these uh, things that you can develop with Flutter, they require their own tooling. For instance, in order to develop an Android application, you need Android Studio and Android SDK, actually, mainly. In order to develop an iOS application with Flutter, you need Xcode and the iOS SDK. And also, it, to really optimally develop web applications, you probably need Chrome installed on your computer. You can also use Firefox if you want to, for instance, on your Linux distribution. So what Flutter Doctor really does, uh, this Doctor command, it looks at your Flutter installation and, and looks at your operating system as, as a whole and just makes sure that you have all the required tooling 
and necessary for being able to be productive with Flutter as a, as a toolkit. So let's go ahead and clear the terminal and just type Flutter Doctor in here. And then we can see actually, it says a new version of Flutter is available. And then for the rest of the things I can see in here, if I change the screen, if I resize the screen a little bit, you can see that all the other uh, boxes are ticked in here with green because we've already installed Android Studio with Android SDK. We have Chrome installed already on this computer. The Linux uh, tool chain, Android Studio uh, is available. Visual Studio Code is already installed. And then I have also two uh, devices available, which are our emulators, as we've seen in the previous chapter. So that's all really good. And then what we need to do is to apply any, apply any updates if they're available. As you saw previously, when I ran Flutter Doctor, it said a new version of Flutter is available. And to upgrade, I just need to say Flutter Upgrade. Now, I'm just going to type then Flutter Upgrade in here. And this pro process could take anything between a few seconds to a few minutes. So what I'm going to do is just to leave it here, let it do its work, let it do its work. And then once this is done, then we can come back to the video and continue after that. Good. Now the upgrade process is done. After the previous step, which was for installing the optional Android licenses, and we've also done the upgrades if necessary. Then the last thing really is after all of this, just to run Flutter Doctor, just to ensure the sanity of the entire installation. And I can see here all the check boxes are ticked with green in here, meaning that we've already installed Flutter and all the tooling required for Flutter are um, successfully installed on this Ubuntu installation. So that was really it for installing Flutter on Ubuntu using SnapD. And as I mentioned in the beginning of, the, of this chapter, we can't really cover all Linux operating systems and uh, all Linux distributions. So if you have a particular Linux distribution and you can't have SnapD on it, or you're having trouble installing Flutter after going through all the steps required in um, or the, all the provided steps in Flutter's own website, please do let me know and do let the community know at the bottom of the screen in the uh, comment section, and we'll do our best to help you out. So I hope you enjoyed this chapter, and I'll see you in the next one.